This is a brand new Ford Mustang, a 7th generation Mustang, and it could be the very last time this iconic muscle car comes with its signature V8 engine. In this video, we are going to talk about the Ford Mustang 2024. Recent Mustangs have done a great job of referencing the original car from the 1960s, but they all have their own individual character. The brand new Mustang does this especially well. It's a little sharper and a bit more angular than the previous generation car thanks to a more apt right from grille and squared off edges. The headlights aren't as pointy as before, but they're thinner which makes the car look meaner and more aggressive. There are a few different bumper designs depending on which engineer chooses, but they all look simpler and less fussy than on the outgoing Mustang. Ford has also got rid of the horizontal daytime running lights. It looks a little bit like an afterthought. From the side though, the new Mustang has a very similar silhouette to the current model. There's a long bonnet, a rate windscreen, and a sloping roofline. However, Ford has actually tweaked the shape of the roof to make it easier to get in and out of the new car. If you're wearing a racing helmet, it will also soften some of the creases down the side and made the rear wheel arches look even wider and curvier than before to a similar story around the back. The old car contrasting boot lid trim is gone and the bright lights have a single kink in each vertical bar instead of two. You still get the Mustang signature quote exhaust pipes underneath and you can bet your bottom dollar. The new Mustang comes with a familiar choice of two engines rage kicking off with a 2.3 liter four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine in EcoBoost models. This is the same size as the old car EcoBoost engine, but Ford says it's changed almost everything about it including the internal geometry and giving it a new turbo Ford hasn't confirmed how much power this new engine makes though. But it didn't bolt on a new turbo for no reason now did it so you can bet the new EcoBoost makes more than the 330 horsepower and 475 newton meters of torque of the old car. The interior is one area where Ford hasn't stuck to the old school Mustang recipe. The 70 ration car comes with a completely new infotainment system that gets rid of the old car's analog dials. Now you get a 12 inch digital driver's display and a 13 inch central touchscreen on top of the dashboard. This runs some brand new software that features built in Amazon Alexa. But Ford didn't stop at revamping the Mustang's onboard technology, it also completely redesigned the whole car's interior. Besides a new touchscreen, the biggest change is the new center console and dual air vents instead of the three round holes like you got on the old car fingers. This has left no space for physical buttons for the radio and climate control. Now you have to do all that through the touchscreen, which might prove a bit fiddly when you're driving. Anyway, you can get the new Mustang with a choice of seat designs to range kicks off with cloth and vinyl seats in the entry-level car mid-spec models get fake leather trim and top specification GT versions that come with real leather inserts. All models come with two small seats in the rear just like the old car, although passengers won't want to spend too much time there unless they're very very small people. The new Mustang comes with a six-speed manual gearbox just like the outgoing model. It gets a rev matching function of the standard that helps you nail the perfect downshift every time. If you'd rather not change gears you can pay extra to get a 10 speed automatic although this is only available on V8 powered GT versions. You can't get it on the 2.3 liters EcoBoost Mustang well, not from launch. Do you really want to enjoy the sound of that V8 you probably want to go for the Mustang convertible? Yes, this new 7th generation model continues the rich history of drop top muscle cars Ford has made it complicated you get a fabric roof that folds away into the boot nice and simple. The Ford Mustang doesn't have many direct competitors anymore. The Dodge Challenger and Charger will be phased out in 2023. To make room for the all new electric Dodge Charger. The Chevrolet Camaro is another famous muscle car that'll bite the dust this time in 2024. You'll still be able to buy a Corvette for a good few years. But that's more of a budget supercar than a muscle car now, isn't it? This means the closest alternatives to the all-new Mustang are Japanese sports cars like the Toyota Supra. So how do these cars compare? Well, Ford hasn't confirmed any performance stats, but when you consider that the new VAT is going to have more power than the old car, 
It's not going to be slower, is it? Today's Mustang GT with a manual gearbox does not 60 miles an hour and 4.6 seconds. The auto is a little bit quicker. It'll do not 60 in 4.3 seconds, which incidentally, are exactly the same times that a 3-liter Toyota Supra will do with a manual and automatic gearbox. It's a safe bet then that the new VA Mustang will be a touch quicker than that cause an automatic gearbox could get close to doing not to 60 miles an hour in 4 seconds flat. All new Mustangs come with independent front and rear suspension like you got on the old model. But Ford has given the 2023 car a new steering rack to make it feel sporty to drive you can adjust exactly how sporty the car feels using six selectable drive modes. There's a normal sport slippery drag track and a customizable profile where you can tweak all the settings individually. On top of that, you also get all the usual driver assistance systems including adaptive cruise control, traffic sign recognition, and automatic emergency braking. If that doesn't sound exciting enough, you can also get the new Mustang with an optional performance pack. This adds a front strut brace, a limited slip talk and rear differential wider rear tires, and upgraded Brembo brakes with extra cooling ducts. You also get an active exhaust, optional Recaro sport seats, and graded adaptive dampers. That's all pretty normal stuff in most serious performance cars. But why isn't very serious if the new Mustang's drift brake? This isn't just a manual handbrake with a fancy name. It's a beefy electronic parking brake that has been designed specifically to let you practice drifting in your brand new Mustang Ford has even designed the drift brake handle to look exactly like a regular handbrake. One of the most exciting things about the forthcoming Mustang is the new dark horse model. You can think of it like Ford's version of BMW M competition cars, it's a more track-focused version of the V8 Mustang GT for starters, gave it a unique body kit with even bigger scoops, intakes, and vents. Ford also tuned the engine and fitted chondrites from the old 760 horsepower Mustang Shelby GT500. The company won't say exactly how much power this new dark horse actually makes only that it's projecting 500 horsepower. This puts the new car in the same territory as the 5-engine 10-horsepower BMW M for competition. However, you won't be able to get the Mustang with 4-wheel drive like that car, but you will be able to get it with the option of an automatic or manual gearbox that raved for the H pattern. There's also an optional handling pack that adds wider tires, stiffer core springs, thicker anti-roll bars, and a new rear wing. It's all designed to give you better traction stability and control on a racing circuit. Speaking of which, you can order a stripped out Dark Horse S and Dark Horse if you plan to do some serious racing in your new Mustang. These get rid of any unnecessary weights and can even order them with roll cage safety nets and a fire suppressant system. They're basically Ford's version of the BMW M for CSL. The new Mustang will go on sale in the USA in 2023. For doesn't confirm how much it will cost yet, will probably set you back slightly more across the range than the outgoing car.